You want to tell me about Olivia? I hated her, but I'm starting to get used to her. In fact, I went over to see her tonight, and I think we're going to be friends. Really? I hated her, but I'm starting to get used to her. In fact, I went over to see her tonight, and I think we're going to be friends. Really? Yeah, it was just time, you know? And the baby? How do you feel about the baby? Well, I kind of hope it's going to be a girl. I already have two brothers. Well, you know, Lizzie, sometimes kids feel a little left out when a parent has another baby, particularly by a stepmother. Yeah, but this isn't my dad's first child from another woman. Plus, I'm too old to get jealous of her little baby. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. Children of all ages still hold out hope for their parents to get back together. But I already told you I made nice with Olivia. Well, in these instances, a baby's often thought of as a means of solidifying the new relationship. It makes the situation more real. It makes that reunion that much more unlikely. So it's perfectly understandable that you might feel some resentment. It's really quite healthy. Healthy to hate a little baby? I could never hate a baby. It's not the baby's fault that my mom and dad are together, or that Olivia and my dad are. The baby never meant to hurt anyone. It's not the baby's fault that... It's not the baby's fault that what? What, Lizzie? That it's so lovable. Hi, Alex! Oh, hi, darling. <laughs> How'd it go? Oh, oh it's good. Great, great. Um... Why don't you wait here with Aunt Alex while I make my next appointment with Felicia? Sure. Uh. So, how is she? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I know that you can't tell me anything that happened during the session. I guess I... I just want to know if she's okay. All right. Tell me something. Does she ever yell or throw tantrums or cry? Well, we had a few arguments when I was going out with Bill, but since she's been home this time, no, nothing. I am really concerned about Lizzie's level of repression. And what is she repressing? Everything. Her family's in turmoil, and yet she seems utterly, utterly in control. What's more, she can't fathom how these problems have anything to do with her. She sees her actions as completely separate from any problems that her family's experiencing. Felicia, do you... Do you think that... Lizzie could disassociate like I did. We've only had one session. But I am concerned about her inability to connect with her feelings. She is smiling a lot. And I think it's very important that we get underneath and find out what's underneath that smile. Here you go, darling. <laughs> Thanks, but you don't have to start waiting on me because of this. Oh, no. I wasn't around when you were sick. And I, well, now that you're going through a tough time, I want to do everything I can to help. And Lizzie, you don't have to say anything in that room that you don't want to say. And for heaven's sakes, don't start questioning yourself <laughs> or your sanity. <laughs> I promise you, darling. You just find the way you are, and things are going to get better. Much better. I know. I know. In session. In session. Hey, hey, let me ask you something. How long did doctors just leave these signs up? It's good to see you, too. No, I'm, I'm serious. Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I, I, I called Felicia's assistant on the way over here. She told me that she would be available to talk to me about Lizzie, so I canceled two meetings. I'm standing here for 45 minutes, and she's in session. How do you do business this way? Maybe she had an emergency. <laughs> you want to see my schedule today? I got accountants. I got lawyers. I, I, got, I have a meeting 10 minutes ago. Hmm. <sighs> okay. I guess we all have days. Yeah. You worried about Lizzie? Amongst other things. Lizzie, I can do something about. She's here. And she's my... Your child. And my responsibility. You got the DNA results back from Olivia's baby, didn't you? That never happened, remember? Boy. I can't talk to you about it.
can't say anything to anybody. All right? It's Alan's baby. So what are you going to do about it? What, what do you mean, what am I going to do about it? It is what it is. Does Olivia know? She didn't want the test in the first place, Rick, remember? No, as far as she's concerned, it's my baby. You know, come hell or high water. But now that you know that it's Alan's baby, Philip, I mean... Come on, your father can make your life a living hell. You know that. Well, but see, here's the thing. He, he's saying that he doesn't want to have anything to do with this child. Alan said that. Mm -hmm. Of course, what do you believe with him? And I promised Olivia that I would help her protect this child. Pal, the question is, do you want to be with Olivia? I don't know what I want. I did. I did want her very much. I don't know that it was love, but it was intense. And even with all the, the lies and the manipulation that were a part of it, when we connected, it was good. It was, pal. You're talking past tense here. When I look at her now, and I see that baby growing, all I can think about is that night. She thought that I was gone, and she went back to Alan in a heartbeat. She loves me, and I know she does, and I know it was only one night. But I just don't seem to be able to let it go. So you want a cup of coffee? Or you just want to run around the block a couple times? You're sleepwalking here, buddy. Hello. Uh, well, an autopilot. <laughs> That's what Olivia accused me of this morning. No, well, she knows something's wrong. Well. Are you sure you don't want to let this one go? I don't know what I want, Rick. I just found out about the baby. I'm in shock. Of course, it was going to be a shock either way. Just need a little time to figure out what to do.